We move to the marquee event for the women, the floor exercise, where choreography becomes a big part. Absolutely. The judges want to see it all on this event. Big tumbling is a must, but now they require a turn with a minimum of a V value and two large leaps connected. And don't forget about that three tenths for artistic value. Tabitha Yim of the United States leads it off just 16 years of age. And she knows how to make full use of that three tenths awarded for beauty, femininity, character, and entertainment value. Two and a half twist to a front half. Normally she does a front pull right there. That won't be a deduction, but she won't get credit for the difficult. There's her turn, a minimum of a B. That's actually a D, so she gets a tenth of bonus. If done clean. Tabitha is an amazing twister. Here we go with a triple full all the way around. She's actually trained quads in the gym. Seeing a whole new generation of American gymnasts here. Gone are Dominique Dawes, Shannon Miller, Dominique Mucciano. Now the days of Tabitha Yim. Last pass, a front double full, dancing right out of it. A beautiful routine. Americans won the bronze medal in the team competition. They have a gold medal. Don Towson in the Parallel Bars Great World Championships. My only criticism is this routine's a little heavy on the twisting side. The judges want to see a little bit more varied composition, maybe some double saltos thrown in there. 9187, the lead score now for Tabitha Yim of the United States. Here is a very explosive gymnast, Diane Santos, 18 years old of Brazil. Last World Championship, she was 59th, has come a long way to get to the final. She is doing a great job, and I really like her style. She's an incredible tumbler, very explosive legs. Let's see with this opening pass, it's a double layout, just drops into the landing. And a double Arabian, a little stiff on that landing. This is where the routine gets fun. Pulling in the crowd, they're clapping along. We're definitely seeing more jumps in the routine because of the new code. The gymnasts not only have to tumble big and put combinations together, they need to gain probably about five tenths just in the leap and jump. Finishing with a double pike, drops into the landing. Wow, big jump, big tumbling, nice style. And their coach knows how to work the code. Oleg Ostapenko has come over from Ukraine to lead the Brazilian side. And Scott, I think one or two more years with Ostapenko to polish things up, and we're going to see even better from Danielle. He has a lot of talent to work with. 9325, still early in this final competition. Moves her ahead of Tabitha Yim into first place. Here is someone to be reckoned with, Andreu Raducan. Gold on the beam here at the World Championships and finished for Romania in the team competition on the floor exercise where they won the gold medal. Opening with a full and back out. That is now a E-level skill. There's the triple full showing 
a nice combination of double salsa elements and twisting. We're seeing a more mature choice in her choreography and music for Andrea. Event finals are always interesting because we see such a wide range of, of character and style amongst the gymnasts. This is an important task right here. This is where she struggled in the all-around competition. And she's got it today, two and a half to a front layout, and this smile tells it all. the ladies do four tumbling passes now. Incredible endurance, a minute and a half routine, finishing with a double pike. Boy, a 10-0 start, and with these clean landings, that's gonna be a tough routine to beat. Diane Santos, all she can do is watch. And Raducan is the world champion from 99, her coach, Octavian Ballou. Here's that opening pass. It's a double salto with a full twist in the first rotation, a solid landing. 9-5-5 five, five for Raducan, trying to win back-to-back -back world championships. Svetlana Horkina trying for another gold medal. Same opening pass as Raducan. Well done. Probably the best I've seen her do it throughout this entire competition. This is where she works at Scott. Pulls the crowd in with her eyes makes the judges feel her routine. Whip to a triple twist, not fully completed, small sidestep. routine that she performed in Sydney. It suits her so well. Last pass. Only three of them for Orkina. A little stumble on the landing. A beautiful routine, but I'm not sure that it was as clean as Radican. With the routine in Sydney, she won a silver medal. There is Andrea Radican, her 9.55 leads. Andrea's landings were much better. Orkina struggled with this triple full, not completing it, and the sidestep. With Tabitha Yim for a photo, 9.375, disappointed to be in second place. Another country becomes a part of the mix, Australia, and Alana Slater, 17 years old, from Perth. What an amazing leotard she has on. It all adds to the presentation. Whip to a triple full. The same pass that we just saw Fortuna do. Getting two tummy passes out of the way right at the start. A nice cover up there doing a layback out of that front layout. Australians have come such a long way under the direction of their head coach, Peggy Liddick. Liddick is an American, former coach of the world champion, Shannon Miller. And she had them in spectacular form before Sydney, but they had a disappointing result in the team competition. But we did see a glimpse of what they're capable of. Doing a great job with the presentation, almost very similar to a rhythmic routine. But of course,
course with the big tumbling. Finishing with a double pike, a slight, slight straddle of the leg. Great job for Alana. Well, she is a player in the competition. Slater was sixth at the World Cup final in Glasgow last year. She covered up this tumbling pass superbly. Two and a half to a front layout, almost under rotated, did a kick with a layback. Gets into the third spot, nine, three, three, seven. Danielle Hippolito of Brazil with a chance and a medal. A big double layout opening pass, beautiful. Born in Sao Paulo, lives in Rio de Janeiro. Just missed the bronze medal in the all-around competition. Double Arabian, a little stiff on that landing that can be dangerous for the knees. A powerful, dramatic style. Music changes here. Two and a half to a front layout. She makes it look easy, and that's a tough combination. Andrea Radicans, 955, still leads. Hippolito is the last gymnast in the field. The clean finish, a triple full. A clean routine, I think that's capable of a medal. Is it capable of beating Radokan? Very explosive tumbling, nice difficulty. There's the two and a half to a front layout, legs glued together. Not quite enough. 9487 will make her second. It is a big win for Romania, Octavian Ballou and Andrea Radican. A second gold medal for her. She claims top prize floor exercise narrowly over Hippolito of Brazil. Another medal for the dominant Svetlana Horkina of Russia. Andrea Radokan failed in her attempt to win the all-around, but is harvesting respect here. I don't find many words to explain how happy I am. What's very nice for me was a nice experience uh, winning uh, two gold medals of this uh, women competition, and uh, I'm happy. We're on our way to the final event from the 2001 World Championships. The high bar is just ahead. Stay with us.